Good morning, folks. It is a good day to bring things together. Not just Mercury and the Sun from Earth's point of view, but the solar uptick as well. After a long period of quiet, the Sun became active again yesterday. An M-class flare and radio blackout occurred right at yesterday's Delta-class sunspot. Today, the flare has taken its toll on the region. The lead right side set off the flare, but it has decayed now, leaving the back side with more magnetic mixing potential as the umbras are bigger and more interactive. Luckily, the flare produced no CME, and otherwise we are calm, which is good because the SDO went into a maneuver. Nothing happened during it, including release events of the Earth side filaments here. The top space weather story is that this morning we are seeing some interplanetary shockwave signatures after three days of declining telemetry. The density was more significant than the speed, but that was still enough to whack the sensitive flux and begin to increase the KP index and instability within Earth's magnetic shield. Left side dark patches are coronal holes, another few days until they face Earth. The north is just moderately powerful, but some stronger force is growing in the southern opening. Top articles today include a quasi-annual solar activity variation based on magnetic bands that go from poles to the equator, having major effects on the activity upticks. The nearly one-year variation is the same duration as the many cycles of the polar field oscillation. Some more star water news for you guys. First of all, glaciers have been found just beneath some dust on Mars, with enough ice there to cover the entire planet in three feet of water. A better star water principle confirmed our hypothesis that most stars are going to follow this interplanetary sphere pattern where the habitable zone is populous. On the heels of news of temperature manipulation across the planet, we have even more evidence here. Could have used that one in our climate update. These are actually the biggest adjustments I've seen to the temperature. We've also got a great article from the ESO on how we are finding organic molecules in exosystems, the building blocks for life. This should be true of most systems we can see in the Milky Way. Let's jump to the RSOE where yet another volcano signature is up. This is Ubinas in Peru and evacuations are already underway. The March 2015 U.S. climate report is out and linked for you below. Couple notes. March was another mix of wet and dry hot and cold. The east was well below average temperatures while the west was hot, even breaking records in some areas. Let's go ahead and look at 2015 thus far, January, February, and March put together, and we're looking at heat records out west, but for New England, it is the coldest start to any year ever recorded, ever. Let's also go ahead and see the last 12 months, April 2014 through March 2015, and it looks a lot like March all by itself, a mix of hot and cold, some of it well off the average. We only have one active tropical system on Earth right now. It's a cyclone still churning away in the middle of nowhere in the Indian Ocean. The other one to the east has descended down towards southwest Australia, significantly weakened, but now is with a couple other lows there delivering some inclement conditions. That low still stands over to the east side of the country as well, also fairly active over there. In the U.S., this was the scene last night. Clouds exploding along the convergence line, along with tornadoes and hail, and some severe storms. We saw windows smashed from enormous hail, big enough to seriously mess you up if they hit you. Buildings destroyed, lives lost, and today, the convergence remains. The air is coming in for a battle of the differences, and it's going to be another night of major weather concerns for the area. The north side is cold enough for major snow events as well, so eyes on that. Lastly, two lows in the North Atlantic are continuing the legacy of the previous high up there. Along with the southwest low, we still see circulation bottom left and that same cloud line racing east along the north. Scroll down, got some great links for you guys below. Also got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear at 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.